uh, as the from our side to just ask all the members of the media to please put your cell phones on silent mode, on flight mode. The last time we hear someone's alarm went off, so can you please ensure that the alarms are switched off as well? Um, and as per norm, we've got a rolling mic. Uh, if you have any questions, please identify yourself as well as the media company you represent prior to asking your question. Um, game itself, I think we made things difficult for ourselves. Um, we made mistakes that were not supposed to be there and the play against a team like Orlando Pilots, they wait for you to make those mistakes and you make those mistakes, you know, they punish you. The goals that we conceded, especially the first three goals, I think, is a goal for, for, for us. I think we're supposed to do better, you know, from those goals. That's why I say that, you know, you make mistakes playing against a team like Orlando Pilots will punish you. Um, after we made some changes, we started looking much better. We started competing, we started winning the ball, we started also playing. We could be able also to rotate the ball a bit, a bit better. Uh, second half, we came, we came strong, we, we said we still had a chance. We just needed one goal, then maybe the, if one goal comes, we'll be able to score the second one. And the boys showed character in the second half. I think we were much, much, much better. And even defense, second half, we were much better, a bit organized, better organized than the way it was, you know, first half. I think it was, we, we made so many errors in the first half that, you know, you make those mistakes, you, you, you never survive, you never survive. But second half, it was much, much, much better. That's why we managed not to score those, uh, those two goals. After scoring those two goals, Time, of course, wasn't on our side, but we were still pushing going forward. We knew that when you do that, it's obvious that you will be also opening on the other side. That's when they managed you know, to get their fourth goal. But um, I think we made things difficult for ourselves you know, in, in this game. Thank you. Any questions from the Thank you. Uh, John, how much was the changes brought up by frustration, uh, or was it sort of I mean, a combination maybe of frustration and trying something new? Or? It was not something new. Um, it was, I think, because we, could, we saw that we were very slow. We were very slow, then we realized that maybe because these players played, you know, a few days ago, and remember they're a bit old as well, so that's why we had to try and make changes and immediately put, you know, fresh legs. And uh, I think it did work well, though, you know, we did not get the points that we needed. Next question. Behind you. Hi, Coach. Hi. Um, have you ever made so many changes so early in a game? Um, in the first half, you made four. And would you say that was a statement now, maybe a message to some of the players? Not really the statement, but I think uh, we must understand and also players must know that uh, you can't wait until you get punched, then you start playing. You have to start the game well. We always emphasize that, that we have to start the game well. And we said, we warned them, say, we knew that Orlando Paris will come very aggressively so, especially in the, in the first 15, 20 minutes of the game. And if you are not awake, we'll have a problem. And uh, same, that problem, we saw it in the first half. The goals that we conceded, not happy with those goals, especially the three goals that we conceded. So, it's not really a statement, but you know, sometimes you, you we try to make them aware. We have made those dis we have made substitution like that before. Four or five players we've done that before. Yes, not in the first half. I mean, in the second half. Thank you. Coach, I'm looking at the time that you start considering these goals. I mean, the four subs that you made, they told us that, they, personally, they told me that you wanted to, even if you lose, you lose in a respective way, respectable way, rather. Would you say, was this a 4-2 game, or was it a point where you said, 
it's there for the taking. It's really, really sort of and looking at the change, the, the changes that you made and the impact that you had was there. Yeah, after scoring the, you mean after scoring the second goal? Yeah, yeah after sc scoring the second goal. You know, you think that, hey, I think you got a chance. You know, it takes a second for you to score a goal. We check the time. Yes, time was not on our side, but anything can happen. It has happened before. We have money to score so many goals in the last minute, or last minute of the game, and we have seen also teams scoring last minute of the game. So, yeah, we thought that, you know, for us, I think the fourth goal when it came, we had about three players on top. So, which means we wanted immediately to win the ball and you know, play forward and try maybe you could get something. So, you, you risk, you know, there are times whereby you risk and uh, like I said, the boys fought, especially you know, in the second half. Thank you. Coach, um, obviously the way Bayer had said there wasn't anything new. They've been using this formation and this technical style for a few games now. Um, so, you like everything that your team was poor in the first half an hour. It was also a case of Pirates being incredibly good as well in the first. Yes, of course they're good, but look at the goals that we analyzed, the goals that we, we considered. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, we, we should not concede like that. That's why I'm saying we make things difficult for ourselves. We make so many mistakes against a team like they're good. It's a good team. Paris is a good team. There's no doubt about that. The way they're playing, they're playing good football as well. But you make mistakes. You're even making things worse. You know, you're making things worse. I mean, look, we managed to get back into the game. We scored two goals. So, which means we are capable also of doing well, but the things that we do not do, we do not do right, and that's making so many mistakes, and so many mistakes in the area where you know could be punished, and we got punished. Thank you. Coach, uh, can I ask one um, Coach, is it not frustrating you in terms of uh, the new signings you saw Zoom, and then also King of during the tournament period? Is it not? Frustrating you that you are unable to register some of the players that you introduced this season. It's it's always you know you 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 feel that because uh, after the last season, going to this season, you there's the area that we wanted to reinforce, and uh, if you know you cannot sign, of course, which means those areas still remain the same and. Uh, I think one of the positions that we wanted to reinforce it in defense and as a striker as well, finding maybe someone that can be able, maybe one, also one one midfielder or two midfielders, that can be more like a core you know, in your team. But so if you don't have that chance of doing so, you have to work with whatever you have. And uh, yeah, we'll get better and better. It's, it's football and they got young players, I'm sure you have seen some of them today. You'll see them, you know, going forward that are hungry and uh, they want to compete. And we hope that, you know, they come well, they come through. Final three questions. <clears throat> so you've got a decent breakdown to next Friday, I think, against Stellenbosch. What, yes. What are the plans and objectives for the next seven, eight days? It's very important we play we play another friendly because we want also the other players that uh, did not take part like or so did not play um, so many minutes you know to have a friendly uh, because another thing I can say this is our sixth sixth week so we it was like we're still in preseason for us you know because we started we started late in our preseason so this was like our sixth week so. But we have seen so much improvement, although there are mistakes here and there, but there's so much improvement. So there are a couple of friends that we organize, you know, before we play against Stellan Bosch. Thank you. Evening, Coach. Good morning. Kulu from Teta FM in the bar. Uh, Coach, I saw uh, Shoei Mohaila playing deep today compared to playing as a winger. What was the change all about? Uh, I mean, what in the, but we have, we have used we have used him as a as a when we play with three we have used him as a wing back. Even if we play four we have used him as a we have used him as a, as a full back. So yes, you know, 
But there are very few games that, you know, since I joined the team, that I've used him as a, as, as a winger. There are times, yes, I could use him as a winger, but not so many games. Because sometimes, today we played with four, so we played him as a, as a fullback. Just like the, 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 the previous game, but last season, whenever we play with three, we still play him as a wing back. And as a wing back, he's more like a full back because he still have to drop deep whenever we don't have the ball. And when we're in possession, we allow him to go. Yeah. Final question. Can you take us on the final question? Well, maybe greedy. Yes, you may. <laughs> A uh, couple of youngsters came on, like uh, Sitoli down the left-hand side. I never got a chance, although you took him off early. What's the, what's your opinion so far about some of these young players? Is there real potential there? A lot, a lot, Max. A lot, Max. Very, very, very interesting. You know, it's only that sometimes you, as a coach, you think that hey, if you put so many of them in the field, you don't know what to expect. So you try, you know, to introduce them slowly. But there's a good, good, great, great future. You'll see them playing most of the most of these coming games. You see them, especially if we don't sign also players, which means it gives them a chance. It gives them a chance, you know, to um, to play. But they are they are good boys. They are good players, and uh, we have seen them even when we played like uh, uh, off-season games. You know, they show that they're hungry and they have so much potential, you know, to offer, you know, to South African football.